guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Last time I did a bunch of mining, we had the festival, and did some fishing. It's a whole bunch of like miscellaneous things. We also got this void chicken. Um, I believe it's what it's called. It's a dark chicken. Uh, we have a dinosaur egg that is cooking, and it looks like the chicken has dropped itself a void egg. So I believe this is one of the last items we need in our collection um, items to ship. So I'll be shipping that off without hesitation, so we'll be having that soon. And, yeah, I did another big harvest. You can see how much money I've got. Um, really kind of killing it right now as far as money and stuff goes. So, yeah, not quite sure. At this point in the game, like I said before, I'm going to be just filling up the... Filling in the gaps as far as what I need to get done. Um, I'm waiting for a rainy day to fish. I have all the stuff written down what I'm trying to do. Waiting for a rainy day um, so I can do some fishing because there's two fall fish you can get in the rain. And then, um, I just need to go in one of the evenings and fish for some of the ocean cucumbers, which I might do one of these upcoming evenings. Um, I'm hunt, I'm working on those, um, rewards for killing so many monsters at the guild. And I'm also working towards, um, getting that dwarf scroll so we can learn how to speak the dwarf language. And... Last, that's about all I'm working on right now. I'm also in the process of doing that, trying to get myself to level 10 on combat. Because wanting to try and do that, of course. Um, but yeah, just I'm, I'm, that's kind of where I've been my focus on. I haven't really spent too much time, like, you know, working on my friendships at the moment. But that might be something for me to pick up again soon. Um, because I didn't do much blackberry harvesting this year. So, unfortunately, not as many of those to give around to everybody, um, but at least something to give around. So, we're going to go crack these geodes open and go donate these things to the museum now. We're going to start with this, and then I might get, hopefully I'll get something new out of all of these. Because we do have Omni Geodes, which can get us anything. And then I have Normal Geodes, which I've, I've cracked open a lot of those, but I'm not sure if it was as much time cracking the normal ones open as I have like the lava and these other ones but we'll see is that one what yeah I'm like that one's a new one again the frozen geodes man for whatever reason I just didn't get many of those when I was in those mining levels pretty sure we got that one already yeah at least we got one new one that's more than I thought we were going to get and another one okay beast this is perfect that's an artifact we already had that one. Still off helmets. I wonder if I can wear that. Can I wear it as like a helmet? Okay, three more. Hey, if we got two new ones out of all of these, that's kind of awesome. Yeah, two new ones, two new artifacts and two um, minerals at this point in the game is pretty impressive. You can see we only need four more. So that's definitely gonna be awesome. Donating these in now. Dun, 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 dun. I guess these three can go over here. And yeah, no rewards there. So we're getting close. Uh, really getting close as far as what we're going to be, what we have left. Um, I guess that's mostly artifacts because we only got four more gems to donate. So that's kind of crazy that we've almost got all these gems have to see if we keep getting lucky I was fishing too late at the beach and like didn't realize how long it took to get back even on my horse and this is interesting like Jojo's not even in town anymore and I they're still like here so kind of strange that that is who came to take care of me um, probably just something that's been overlooked because what's his name still works there um, or it says he does whatever his name is Shane. So, I didn't have any luck catching anything new, but I did get a new, I bought some stuff. Um, this actually worked pretty well. Um, you know, as far as treasure hunting goes, like, I don't, I could see myself making, I just had bought it, but I can see myself making a whole bunch of those with my gold bars. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, though. Um, but the trap bobber I was using now, and that actually was I could see the difference in how slow it came down and that's so easy to make so I think that might be or those are going to definitely become 
more widely used. I totally forgot though that we have the wild bait we can make. I don't know if it's good or better. I might have to look up and see if it's worth making or not. But um, I did get a new artifact, some glass shards. So we'll have to take that in eventually. But yeah, just going to be doing some more fishing tonight, I think. Um, yeah, fishing tonight. And I'm kind of waiting to go back in the mines at the moment. But there we go. I've now killed my 30 digging creatures, uh, which is, I guess that's cool. Um, so we'll go get a reward from that when the place opens at 2 o'clock before heading down to the beach because the cucumbers are actually not out until 6 p.m. So I'm actually going to stay up here for a bit. Um, and then actually I want to go down to the deeper levels. Go hunt some more of those dust sprays because I'm really close to taking out all of those as well. Now collecting our reward. We shall see what he's, he's back. So there we go. We got the duggies. Um, next up is going to probably be dust sprites. And then I'll go down deeper to the Void Spirits, all the while looking on the slimes. It is a hard hat. Keep your dome in one piece. Okay. Thanks, I guess. It's just, is it just literally a hat to wear? Okay. Cool, I guess. Thanks, guys. I was hoping for something a little bit better, but I guess the Duggies was an easy one to do, and probably something I could have done right from the start. Um, okay, now I'm going to go to the ocean to fish good part of the rest of the evening. Hey, got what I was looking for, the Super Cucumber. Ooh, fancy, super. So that was, now I just need rain to catch my catfish and an eel in the rain. But I got the Super Cucumber, which was something that we needed. Hey, it was a Gold Star one too. But I'm gonna keep fishing for a bit, probably the rest of the evening, because I would like to maybe try and level up. Another. Oh, we definitely leveled up on fishing. I uh, know, wait, weren't we already nine? No, we were eight, or seven, or eight. We may have been eight and nine, or we definitely got nine. That might be why it's green. So we definitely leveled up in fishing. I'm going to keep fishing because, of course, we want to get ten and everything. And... Or maybe the plus one fishing is giving me the fake fishing. But yes, a rare purple variety of sea cucumber. Woo! I would like to get some actual normal sea cucumbers, though. Um, although I think they're mostly caught during the day. But they're through winter, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. Because they're using a couple recipes, um, I think, to make like the, something that either had luck or fishing that I wanted. So, yep. It's a good catch. Now, yes. During the winter, we have a bunch of fishing we're going to do. I have to go down in the mines since I never really fished in there. Uh, we're just going to throw that out. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. We were at level 7, we leveled up to 8, and then we ate the fishing thing, which made us act like we were on level 9. So we did get a level up, though. Plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. New crafting recipe. Worm bin. Something brand new. I had no idea this was coming. Um, is that, like, I guess it's like a bait thing. Maybe it's a new way to make bait. New crafting recipes. Drist, a spinner. New crafting recipe. Barbed hook. Um, these are like, the I find these all the time, so I've, I've never needed a crafter buy these, but these I've been wanting to be able to craft or buy, because that's kind of awesome to be able to hook the stuff. Especially when you're catching, like, lower things, like some of the stuff I'll be looking for will be helpful. And it can help a little bit for, like, some of the wet, red, some of the legendary fish, but, um, you know, the harder fish, it kind of made it more difficult. It just depends on the fish, really, but it's definitely worth having to use. So let's give this a look. Warm bin. 25 hardwood, 1 gold, 1 iron, 50 fiber. Wow, 25 hardwood, Jesus. I was make, I was collecting a bunch of hardwood to make some hardwood fences, but it looks like that's not happening. Produces bait on a regular basis. The worms are self-sufficient. So you just make it and it just creates bait, I guess. I did look up... We haven't made explosive ammo yet. That's. I'd like to try this out. <laughs> um, but we did... Let's see. Yes, barbed hook. So one copper, one gold, one iron. That's expensive. Um, yeah, that's a little expensive. What about this one? Cloth and iron bars. Might have to start stacking up on some cloth. Although right now I have so much money, I don't care. I'm just putting it out. Oh yeah, we never looked at the iridium band. Five iridium bars, 50 solar... Fi glows, attracts items, and increases attack damage by 10%. I see why it's so expensive. Because it's the glow ring... And the magnetic ring, right, two, like, favorite rings, but it also increases your attack damage by 10%, which, that's amazing. Um, that's kind of amazing. 
Um, I also looked up this. So the normal bait increases your fish bite by 50%, making this bait increases it to like 67.5% faster so it's not too much faster it's faster but i don't think it's worth it um maybe now because you know we have the slime farm but i think i'll just stick with the normal bait as far as what i saw what the rates were i'll stick with the normal the normal bait and then make my treasure hunting things and my barbed hooks but yeah that's a beast all right anything on tv yeah we did coleslaw a long time ago Gosh darn it, is it not going to rain before the season ends? I will be a little upset if that's the case. Mail? I thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. Oh god, they've been closed for like a month. Pepper poppers. Plus two farming and plus one speed. Thank you, man. Real quick, just there's a small chance the dinosaur egg is hatched. No, it's not. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to look at this. Look at this beautiful completed page. Beautiful. We're getting there. And with the fish as well. All of this is getting there. Yeah, so we're at eight. Got to keep fishing, though. Fishing was the one we were the slowest on. Hey, we did all of the little dust sprites, so that was actually quicker than I thought. I'm going to take out these dust sprites and we'll head up right now to see what our reward is. Because I hope... I'm not sure if it's going to be anything good because those guys seem kind of silly to me. Um, killing just the little dust sprites. It'll probably be like coal or something maybe related to that. Maybe some... I have no idea what it's going to be actually. It could be like a stack coal or something that'll last you like a really long time because they all dropped coal, but I'm not going to sit here and, and fight these guys. Let's get ourselves up. So yeah, didn't really have to, I don't really have anything left to do for the rest of the month of fall, and I just figured I need that other scroll, and uh, we have these in here to do. So these checklists in here, we'll go ahead and take a peek at the wall. So, I have Void Spirits, which means I'll have to spend some more time down in the lava levels of the mines, which might be good, because I think I need some Magma Geodes. Um, and then Slimes, which we'll have on every single level we're in the mines, when I start going back up into the, the cold floors again. So, those are the last two we have, surprisingly, done the rest so far. Burglar's Ring. Monsters have a greater chance of dropping loot. Ooh, that's cool. I assume that means... This, by the way, is awesome, especially in like this mine in the middle floors. Man, my health stays max like all the time. We'll have to see how well this works in the deep levels and then before I bring it to the desert mine. But I think I'm gonna definitely swap this out, even though the Magna Ring is so awesome. Um, I have more than two fingers. I know I don't have to wear a ring on your ring finger, but uh, maybe that'll help me get some of these um, artifacts that I need. I guess that just increases the chances that uh, a mon... A one of the monsters we fight will drop something better than just their normal drops. That's probably what that means. I assume that's what that means. Which will be really nice if that's the case. And I'll have to get to do some more mining just in time for the winter. So it's not going to rain tomorrow. It's not going to rain on Spirit Sea, which means we basically have one day of rain chance, the very last day. And if we don't get that, then I'm going to be really sad because we're not going to be able to catch the catfish. Um... That will make me rather sad. So, at the moment, I've been keeping everything because when winter gets here and you have so much less to do, I am going to be clearing out this farm, and I want to really do a lot of landscaping of my farm, and then also inside of my farm, inside of my house, and around my farm, and then that will hopefully um, let me clean out some stuff. I'm going to change my storage system around, clean out a bunch of gunk, and... Um, I should hopefully have a much better system set up to start spring, to start year three, which is, um, I think, one of the real last years as far as the main story of this game goes. Uh, I can sell the rest of this, right? We're going to have a bunch more of these coming up shortly. So I'll keep some of that in case we need some more. So 
so yeah, I think that'll be, uh, I'll be working a lot of, uh, spending a lot of time doing that for winter. But uh, hopefully we get rain the last day. I'm going to be kind of bummed if we don't. Because uh, I'll have to wait another year to catch that catfish. Unless you can catch it in like the winter or the summer and I just missed it. But I thought it was only in the fall. So, boom. Tomorrow's, I think the 27th is Spirit's Eve. So, and of course, there'll be nothing exciting from that. I think we bought, at this point last year, we had bought everything good from it. And it's just going to be, get the, the golden apple for the money. So, yep, this course is going to be clear and sunny. What do we have today? Oh, good. With the ring, I think I'll be heading back in the mines today. But we got some mail, and I wanted to check that with you guys. Do your mic notice chilling there? Oh, yeah. That's just telling me about that. We know about that. Look how many I have. 61. 909. Oh, okay. Wow. So when you get stone... So I thought things... So the highest any item can stack is 999, and then you get another stack of it, which is kind of crazy that we have that much stone. Um... By the way, the blue slime did hatch, finally. I believe he hatched yesterday. Oh, I forgot to close these. So, we've got that to look forward to. Um, we'll get a whole other spectrum of colored of slime. And we got a truffle. I realized my pig won't be able to get truffles in the winter because he won't leave. So, I definitely need to make sure I save a couple truffles in case we need, to need them or turn them into truffle oil for whatever arrives. Because that's something I'll have to wait a whole season to get. All the other animal products are so easy to get that I just, on a day-to-day -day basis, keep it. Except for the rabbit's foot. We haven't got... The rabbit's foot yet, but those trees over here are growing as well. Do you guys see this up in the top left? I don't know what that means. I never noticed that before. It's a skull. Is that just because I'm in an infested area? Yeah, it was. Okay, so it didn't count as like a floor. Okay, I see what it did. Never mind. <gasps> Oh my god, we're leaving right now. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? The dwarf scroll too. Is that what we need? Oh my gosh, it is. Guys, I'm gonna shed a tear. That was... I've been trying for so long. If, if we didn't have the quests to kill the mobs, it would have sucked to just to grind them the way I did. I wasn't even expecting it. I didn't think we were going to get it again today, and we just got it. I'm just going to bed and sleeping so that this can save, and we'll deal with the rest of this all tomorrow. Because we need to get it donated, and then we'll see what the heck's going to happen. Yeah, I'm just going to sleep in case something weird happens. I want to save the fact that I just got that. Because that was... That's just perfect. Because now the next day, anytime I go back in the mines, um, I can go down to the magma level and, hide and kill the void spirits. And the slimes, of course. But the void spirits, specifically. Okay, progress has been saved. The museum does not open until... 9 a.m. So I'll do some work around here, and then when it's time to donate, I will be sure to get you guys there. Oh, yes! Rain tomorrow. Perfect. Hopefully we can get ourselves the catfish. It's the festival. You can't go to town today. Everything's closed. Gosh darn it. <laughs> so much for that, I guess. Oh, hey! Diamonds! I mean, someone said you gotta make sure you keep this clear because it, if you, every time there's like an empty space, it basically gets a chance of spawning something good, such as diamonds or the iridium ore. Um, and if you let it get cluttered up with rocks, then, you know, you just lose less spaces and less chances to spawn good stuff. So I've been doing that, and you can see it just paid off there with the diamonds. Um, every, every single day, something spawns here. Our dinosaur egg has not hatched yet, and... I'm trying to think what else. I don't think there's much else. I really just expected to go do that at the moment. But for now, we have nothing to do today. Uh, so I guess it's time to start preparing ourselves for winter once again. Um, which means I can kind of clear up this stuff down here. And I'm going to basically get rid of all of the tall grass um, and fill up completely. 
um, our silos to max capacity. And then um, that's, that's that's the top three things right there. Cutting grass for days, man. This got out of control. But 700 is more than enough for an entire, like it's like enough for like a whole year to feed. So we should be good for a long time if I actually fill it up all the way. But uh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. It's a whole bunch of stuff. It'd also be our last chance of a thunderstorm is we can get the last bit of our battery packs, which means once I do my decorating in the winter, if we have a bunch of extra batteries, I'll sell them. I think I'm gonna make a bunch more um, lightning rods because those selling sell for a lot. And if you get a thunderstorm, man, you can make like a whole bunch of G. Um, I guess I didn't technically go in here today. So let's go take a peek in here and see, I forget, I get, I miss having the magnet bracelet on because I could just like walk away and pick that up. I always have to like go back and pick up stuff. I noticed that in the mines, it was kind of becoming a pain in the butt. So there's our, um, yeah, see, same here. There was um, our blue one down there, which it's now morphing with the yellow, the red one. But it looks like those two bred with, we haven't bred anything with the blue one yet. I could put another blue egg in there, um, but I think I'll just leave it for now. So yeah, nothing uh, really special um, in the Spirit Sea Festival anymore because I have all these items. Uh, unless you wanted more rare crows or just you needed a couple grand and wanted to talk to some of the people, that's really about it. Otherwise, nothing special to that. I cut about, I cut like 95% of the grass on my farm and upon doing so, got myself the full silos. So that was awesome. Um, so I'm gonna actually lock these all up. I got my animals inside. I think there were still a couple out over here when I left. So we'll see if they've made it inside now, and if they have, we'll lock them up for the winter. And they all are in here. We only got one truffle, unfortunately. Um, I didn't see another one when I was cutting everything around, but I really didn't have much extra leftover grass. This is really the only leftover grass I got, so these are now completely full. So tomorrow we'll have rain. We'll hunt for the catfish. We will donate the dwarf skull too. And in addition to that... Um, there'll probably be a dinosaur egg hatch, maybe? Um, but yeah, so I think that's actually made for this episode. Unfortunately, we're gonna be, I could, I'm gonna make you guys wait to have this donation go on. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya! Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out another Let's Play I did, check out my Super Mario World Let's Play for the Super Nintendo by clicking here in the top left. If you'd like to check out my Minecraft server Avius, click here in the top right. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you like what you've seen so far and you have yet to subscribe, click the big banner below.